In this video, we are going to solve trigonometric equations in quadratic form. Solving a quadratic equation may be more complicated, but we can use algebra as we would for any quadratic equation. When we want to solve the equation of this type, look at the pattern of the equation. Is there more than one trigonometric function in the equation? Or is there only one? Which trigonometric function is squared? If there is only one function represented, and one of the terms is squared, think about the standard form of a quadratic. Once we have a standard form of a quadratic, we can solve the quadratic equation, and finally solve the basic trigonometric equations. Let's look at the first example here. We want to find the solutions for 4 cosine squared of x equal to 3 sine squared of x, where the interval of solution lies between 0 to 360 degrees, included. There are two trigonometric functions in this equation. We can change cosine to become sine or vice versa. How? Remember trigonometric identity, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equal 1? Substitute sine squared of x with 1 minus cosine squared of x. Expand, and then simplify the equation. We have cosine squared of x equal to 3 over 7. Take square root on both sides. We have cosine of x equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 7. These are basic trigonometric equations. Follow the steps of solving basic trigonometric equations. First step. The solutions are in all four quadrants. Second step. The reference angle is 49.1 degrees. Third step. The interval of solution is from 0 to 360 degrees. We will read the angle counterclockwise, one complete round. The first solution is 49.1 degrees. The second solution is 180 minus 49.1 equals to 130.9 degrees. The third solution is 180 plus 49.1 equals to 229.1 degrees. And the last solution is 360 minus 49.1 equals to 310.9 degrees. Lastly, we conclude the answer. There is an alternative way to solve the equation. Now, let's look at the second example. Solve the trigonometric equation, 2 sine squared of theta plus 5 cosine of theta plus 1 equals 0. The problem will be less difficult to solve if we convert the equation to an equivalent equation, with just sine terms or just cosine terms. In this case, we are going to change sine squared theta. Use trigonometric identity, expand, simplify, Rearrange the equation and write it in the standard form of quadratic equation, then solve it. Here, we can factorize the expression on the left side. If we let p is cosine of theta, then, the equation is equivalent to 2p squared minus 5p minus 3 equals 0. The factors are, 2p plus 1, and p minus 3. So, we have 2 cosine of theta plus 1, multiplied by cosine of theta minus 3 equal to 0. It means either one or both of the factors equal to zero. The solution for the quadratic equation is cosine of theta equal to negative one over two or cosine of theta equal to three. These are not the final solutions. As you can see here, we have basic trigonometric equations that we need to solve to find theta. We will solve the equation one by one. Follow the steps of solving basic trigonometric equations. First step. Negative cosine is in the second and third quadrants. Second step. The reference angle, alpha, is 60 degrees. The third step. The interval of solution is from negative 180 to 180 degrees. This means, 
we have to read the angle counterclockwise, half round, and clockwise, half round. The first solution is in the second quadrant. Read the angle counterclockwise. Theta sub 1 is 180 minus 60, which is equal to 120 degrees. The second solution is in the third quadrant. Read the angle clockwise. Theta sub 2 is negative, in the brackets 180 minus 60, which is equal to negative 120 degrees. The second basic trigonometric equation we want to solve, is cosine of theta equal to 3. As we know, the value of cosine of theta, is from negative 1 to 1. We can refer to the graph of cosine function here. As you can see, the value of cosine of theta never goes beyond negative 1 and 1. So, for this equation, there is no solution. So, the solutions of theta are, negative 120, and 120 degrees.